What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to be going over how I did my interior. Um, I painted the entire interior black and these are all the steps that's going to go with it. This is for a, um, the truck's a 1995 Ford F-150. It's the OBS Ford. Um, so hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, everybody, we just got done cleaning the entire uh, dashboard, but when I was cleaning, I actually noticed there was a couple heat cracks. Uh, well, not just a couple, there was a shitload, but um, it's all in these tabs, like here where it connects to the main points uh, to, the, to the vehicle, which is which sucks for me. A lot of them, you can't really see too much. Um, I don't want them to break when I'm trying to install them. So, I'm going to use some plastic welder. Um, I've never used this stuff before. It's by Permatex, and they always make good stuff, so I figured why not. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to be using to fill in all these cracks, and I'll show you guys what all these little cracks look like, and hopefully it comes out for the best. So these are the cracks I was telling you guys about. There, 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 which are all the main tabs. The guy I got this from actually went and got this bracket because one of them broke. It's actually a metal bracket, which, uh, which is nice. I wish all these were metal. It would make a life so much easier. There's also a crack here, which I'm not super worried about because this was, I mean, this was broken off, you can tell. Um, but it, it being behind everything, you're not gonna really gonna see anything. And one, hopefully once I get this patched up together, it'll be a much stronger. Um, But also, um, unfortunately, that was cracked on the front. But everything else is in pretty decent con condition. And this is what I'm going to be using to do all the sanding on the on the dash. Uh, I've had this thing for a couple of years now. They're actually a really good product, um, but I'll, I'll drop a link below on where you can find this guy. All right, everybody, now we get to acetone the entire dash and all the pieces that go with it. So I've actually already done all the trim in the entire truck besides the dash and the past couple parts you've seen. So it's kind of like the final countdown on, on doing all of this, thank God. But I've enjoyed the process and it's been wonderful. So I actually just got done washing everything. Now time to acetone everything. Let's do it.
All right, guys. So next thing we're going to do is actually use this plastic adhesion promoter. Um, that way, it can the paint will actually stick, but it improves the top coat uh, adhesion. So for the paint, so this is the first thing we're going to do. We're going to do a, uh, I think three or four uh, coats of this stuff, and then we'll get onto the paint. Let's do it. All right guys, we just got done spraying uh, the adhesion promoter, but now it's time to go ahead and spray the paint. So I'm using a black vinyl and fabric paint by Dupacolor. Um, it's actually a flexible finish, so if you want to use it on like rubber or something, I believe you can use it on there. Um, or some sort of vinyl that like moves around a lot. There's actually a couple videos I've seen that they hold up pretty well. But we're going to go ahead and do, I think, three or four light coats of this stuff. And be sure you do your paint 10 minutes uh, or in between 10 minutes of adhesion promoter. Adhesion promoter. So make sure you do that and let's let's do it. All right, everybody, that wraps up the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to be posting up um, an, a full video of when the entire interior is done because I'm going to be doing, um, in the next couple videos, a trim wrap. I'm going to wrap it in some sort of vinyl or something like that. Um, and a couple of other key components in the, in the vehicle and kind of have like an accent of, I'm not sure what color I'm going to do. Um, drop down in the, in the comments what you think I should do for that. Um, but if you could subscribe to the channel, I'd, I'd love to hear feedback from you guys on future videos to do and stuff like that. I'm going to be doing a lot of things in the truck, and I'll try and record them as I go to keep you guys updated. But I'm actually going to be doing a light bar giveaway um, for my subscribers. When uh, Probably on the next video, I'll actually be letting people know when, where, and how to enter and all that good stuff. So make sure you hit the bell icon to get notified of when I post. Um, all this is going to be OBS4 related. That's the truck I had, and it's actually my first truck since uh, high school. First truck ever. So I've kept it this long, and I want to keep it um, looking good and, and doing modifications and stuff like that to it. So be sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching the video. You guys take care. Thanks. Bye.